All right, good morning, everyone. 10 Tampa Bay Chief Meteorologist Bobby Deskins here. Uh, based out of Tampa here, weather is quiet for today. We're going to have a nice day here with sunshine. I wanted to touch base real quick um, with a recap of the tornadoes that went through Mississippi last night. Uh, let me show you a bigger picture. There's a cold front pushing through the area, and you can see that line that is now pushing through, excuse me, through the uh, Atlanta area. That's the line that caused all the severe weather last night. Um, the severe weather threat is a lot lower at this particular point. It looks like we have a warning down here in southern Mississippi, just north of uh, Florida Panhandle. But overall, the severe weather threat has, has greatly reduced, been reduced. Um, the, the issue was right in here. You see that? That's where we had one big storm more than anything else just continue to drop a tornado across parts of Mississippi just north of Jackson. We actually had one south of it as well too. So again, this morning things are, are okay for the most part. This is last night around 7.30. Now this, this one had a tornado warning. It actually had a really good signature. You can see the hook echo right in here. Uh, I do not have a storm report for this. Here's Jackson, Mississippi. Here's southeast of there. All right, but what I really wanna do is take you back out to the north and west of Jackson. And watching this area right in here, you see that? That is basically one cell that produced, I've seen reports of this thing being almost a mile wide on the ground uh, and what we call a wedge tornado, which is a big, strong, thick, if you will, tornado. It's not like those little windy ones that you see with a little bit of it touching the ground. This is almost a mile's worth of a tornado on the ground. Um, and there's likely more vortices inside the wall of that tornado as well, too. Here is the track, and, and I've put on here the storm, the local storm reports, but you can see basically it's the same cell, right? Moving right along, producing a tornado. Uh, and we've had unconfirmed reports it was on the ground for 40 miles. We will get data from the National Weather Service, likely through the day today and tomorrow, that'll give us details on this. But we're talking at least EF3, if not higher, uh, probably higher in some locations. Uh, so these areas in Mississippi, again, north of Jackson, Rolling Fork, I've seen incredible video coming out of there, Armory as well. Uh, incredible video coming out of there. And then this moves all the way up. You can see all the way up towards Winona. Uh, lots of reports of that tornado causing damage in the Winona area, crossing 55 there as well. Again, right now the threat is over for Mississippi, but you can see where it went. In fact, you can see the line. If I take away the radar, that's where it went. It was moving to the northeast. Uh, and basically that one particular cell dropped that, those multiple tornadoes. And that's, that's pretty typical. Now, last night the reports were... 13 people killed, multiple injured. But as of this morning, the Mississippi Emergency Management posted this and tweeted this, confirming 23 dead, four still missing, and dozens that have been injured. And the worst part about this, on top of that, is that those numbers are probably gonna go even higher. Uh, just complete devastation in some areas. Uh, they're north of Jackson in Mississippi. Um, now, the, the forecast for today does have that line, as I showed you, off into the southeast, uh, parts of um, eastern Alabama, Georgia, and South Carolina. But the, the severe weather threat that you see here, this is a lot less than what was forecast in this area yesterday. This was a, a really well forecasted event. Um, they were calling for chance for devastating tornadoes in this area yesterday afternoon and unfortunately it definitely verified now tomorrow it's going to reset in mississippi again we'll have a chance for severe weather now most of it was right in this area here you can see jackson here and tomorrow's threat is mainly going to be south of jackson but it will include that area and it will go all the way across georgia however the the level of the threat for tomorrow is still lower than what it was uh, yesterday in this area right in here. So they're going to be under the gun once again. I think it's further to the south than where the big storms were last night. Uh, and I think the overall threat is a little bit lower than that. So that's it. Just a, a, a quick recap of, of what happened um, last night. Devastating.
just incredible uh, what, what, what's happened there. Uh, and there's going to be lots of video and pictures coming in uh, from online. Uh, that, that's it, guys. Uh, we'll get you uh, back to what you were up to. Hope you have a great weekend. Say some prayers uh, for the folks involved out there.